Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for the 20 objects curriculum that Cycling74 has put together on their website to uh, help introduce people to Max, MSP, and Jitter. This is lesson one, and um, unlike the 20 concepts curriculum, which actually starts out with the Visi modules and is a very large-scale macro thing, we're starting out at the very beginning on this one. It's the button object. And so what I've uh, created here is three buttons, and uh, they're, hint they're hooked up to a print object, so when I click on them here, you'll see them print over on the right side. So I'm going to just click this button right here, and it is printed a bang, because a, a button sends a bang. If I click up here on top, I get two bangs, because it goes through to both of them. Um, anyhow, that's a pretty simple thing. And, um, you know, we have this little moral of the story, too, by the way. I have to, if I just do a quick tap on my trackpad, you don't even see the top one light up, but if I uh, click and hold it, click it, you see the other ones. Anyhow, that's the uh, first patch. The second patch is a whole tree of uh, buttons. The buttons normally come out this side. I made them bigger when they were over here. And you can click on them one at a time, and you see all the ones that are below that particular button light up. So, a little Christmas tree kind of thingy. That's nice. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start printing uh, things with particular arguments. So this one says that the argument for the print up this is a print object, and it has to be one word. So over on the right, over here, you see it just says object print 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 and message bang bang bang. I'm going to come over here, click on this one, and now you see that it has the object has a label. The label is one word. That's the title for it. And it still sends a bang because that's what it's getting from the button. All right. By the way, I'm uh, I had created the entire patch and I'm just deleting. Uh, I deleted and undeleting things one at a time. Now we get to the lesson on order of operations in Max, which is important because it's a little counterintuitive. Uh, when Max has two objects at the same uh, vertical level, it actually starts on the right and then it moves to the left. Um, not the left to the right the way you know we would be accustomed to. Um, so if I click on this, you see it's going to send it to the same vertical position, but you see that two prints first. Two's bang comes out first and then the one. Um, so it actually goes from right to left. Make more sense if you, you know, wrote in Hebrew or Arabic or something. Um, similarly, when things are in the same um, horizontal position, it starts at the bottom and then goes up. I'm going to click on this one. And you see again, we go two to one, so that's easy. And then, what if you have stuff that's on the same, uh, we got a little grid here, and this tells us it's going to it's going to go in order four, three, two, one, which means it's going to start bottom right, go up, and then move to the left and go up. There we go, you see, four, three, two, one. Um, on the other hand, if you make it so things are not on the same X or Y plane, but you know, stagger them, you can control the order this way. So now this is going to go, instead of four, three, two, one, it's going to go one, two, three, four. There we go, right there. Um, and, you know, here's a similar one. I think this was an exercise. So I click on that and I get two, four, six, eight because they're staggered. Okay, on the other hand, instead of arranging things in position, if you need things to happen in a particular order, a much better way is to use the trigger object. That's the T here. And what I've done here is I wrote T for trigger. You can also write the word trigger. And then I put down that I want to trigger a whole bunch of bangs. You can actually trigger different things, but in this case I've got one, two, three, four, five different bangs I'm going to trigger. And you see, and it, it starts at the far right and then it moves over. But I've got these things kind of curled up all over the place. Um, and so the one is way over here and, and so on and so forth. But you'll see that because of the way that it's wired with the bang, or excuse me, with the trigger object to make the order explicit, it'll come out in the correct order one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going to hit that. And there we go. That worked beautifully. Okay, for patch 10, we get to introduce a delay. Um, this is uh, the delay object, and you, the one argument is how many milliseconds it takes before it forwards what it got. This is a thousand milliseconds, so that's one second. So I click this button, 
and wait one second and there's a bang there at the bottom. Okay, now I got a little Christmas tree thingy. It's kind of cute with a whole bunch of delays and you see that it crosses over here. Um, we got a delays of a quarter second, that's uh, a little over a third of a second, an eighth, you know, four tenths, and so on. I just click this and, oh, that's pretty, let's do it again. A whole bunch of delayed bangs. Okay, now we're doing a little bit of a racetrack. Uh, what it's going to do is it delays and it goes around, and then it does this little funky thing because we're actually coming up the side here, but it delays a quarter second each time. There we go, let's do it again. All right, and then um, I believe there is one more, and this is just uh, increasing delays um, in order. And so we have a delay of 100 milliseconds, 200, 300, 400, 500 milliseconds, so that's a half a second there at the end. Click on that, and it goes slow down a little bit as it goes. Anyhow, that's it for lesson one. Thanks.